All right, guys. Here we are at the cooling tower, and uh, I don't think uh, I don't think I've done an equipment yard tour before, so uh, we'll do this. Uh, come over here. First point of interest. Uh, this is our water main shut off. Um, this is going to be the main shut off for the building. Um, here's the city supply coming in here. Uh, this is our makeup. Um, this is our, our uh, makeup water for the cooling tower. So when we, if we have to shut off the main to the building to do a plumbing repair, we're not shutting off makeup water. We're not shutting off the cooling tower. So makes sense. Someone engineered that properly. And uh, you know, this is a secondary service valve for uh, the replacing this backflow. And uh, here's the backflow for the cooling tower uh, makeup. So then that goes through there, from over there, down into the ground, and pops up over here. Now, uh, I replaced this hose bib. Uh, that was leaking, so we did that. And here was the old shutoff um, for the for our water solenoid valve up there, um, but it didn't shut off, as you know, or you may know that old gate valves don't often will, especially if they've been on exercise, they won't shut off. So that was the case with this one. Uh, so that's why they did a new ball valve up here. And um, it would have been a perfectly seamless repair. Wouldn't have had to replace anything except the valve, except um, this was the bottom part of the old union. Um, and as you can see, I sweated the valve on and did not take that coupling nut up there. So I had to replace this union as well with an entirely new one because old union halves and new union halves do not line up as you may have found out the hard way yourself one time. Okay, and here's our patient for the day. This water solenoid valve right here. Uh, not an exact replacement. It, I know it looks the same, but something about it is different. Um, but uh, voltage is the same. Uh, everything else is the same. Uh, one inch inlet and outlet. So that's all I need to be the same. So I'm gonna take apart my new union here. Um, take apart this union over here, the little dielectric one. And uh, replace that bad boy. Now this is a normally closed uh, valve. I'll show you the wiring in a minute. And it's normally closed. And then when it's energized, when the tower calls for makeup water, and it opens the solenoid. That's uh, 120 uh, VAC. So, I'm going to reuse this little junction box here, and uh, everything else should replace just the same. All right, well, uh, enough, enough of that, um, so let's get after this solenoid valve. Okay, we're all done here. Um, got our new solenoid valve in. Ain't she pretty? Yes. Yes, sir. Got everything hooked up. Um, took, uh, took a couple of times taking these unions apart and smashing them together to get them to stop leaking finally, but I'm good. I'm good now. Uh, got our shut off valve uh, full flow. Uh, I drained some water out of the tower um, to test it. Um, you know, hook my meter up here, uh, make sure it was energizing the coil when the uh, water level was low, and it did. So that's good. Um, we now uh, solved our water wasting problem here, and uh, that should make should make everybody happy. Uh, tomorrow or something, I'll come back and touch up all my pretty green paint that I messed up with. Cause that's the really important part, you know. I mean. You know, replacing the valve fixing the mechanical problem you know that's just my job but having things looking pretty around here you know, you know that's that's what the managers take pride in so make sure to get that painted up real nice okay y'all i call that a successful repair and uh we will talk at you later